My name's Andrew Frederick. I'm a senior at Nichols College in Dudley, Massachusetts. I checked out a couple of schools, you know, rural, and then I checked out a couple of schools that were in the city. And I, I loved, you know, being around in the city, but I just felt like for me, it would be better to go more rural where I could focus on an education more and instead of having a bunch of distractions. Things I like about Nichols, they're predominantly a business school. The great professors that we have, just mountains all around you, small, rural, nice community to, to interact in. All the professors are friendly, all the students are friendly, a really great learning facility. They really do prepare you for after graduation. I knew ever since I was seven years old that I wanted to go into business. And looking at Nichols, I wanted uh, a school that would focus and, and educate me in business. So I, I, I figured Nichols would be the best fit for me. I was born in Springfield, Mass, raised in Wolverham, the town right next to it. I uh, lived there for 17 years of my life. I grew up regular blue collar family, you know, my parents weren't um, privileged enough to go to college. So it was kind of just understood for me that I, I, either a community college or, you know, state college or private college, I need to go. So I, I checked out about five or six schools around New England and Connecticut, Massachusetts, New Hampshire, and ended up with Nichols. Just because it's a private school doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be more expensive than a state school. For the most part, students that go to Nichols receive some type of financial aid regardless of if it's through grants or through loans or through scholarships, anything like that. So it was actually cheaper for me to go to a private school than it would be to, say, go to a state school. I live off campus about two minutes down the road with five other roommates. So to get work done, I, I go to the library. I actually have a lot of friends that will make fun of me and tell me that I should start paying rent to the library just because I'm in there all the time. There's been a lot of you know good classes I've taken at Nichols. They have a real well-defined business program and a professional development seminar that they offer. It's a one credit class you take one semester, all four years. And it has you building resume, putting together a portfolio, you know how to interview correctly, how to write, uh, ask the right questions. The education and knowledge that I got from Nichols, it'll in the long run prepare me for the real world. My name is Jasania Landrum. I'm a freshman at Wheelock College. I'm from Boston. I grew up with just my mother and my sister. When I, when I look at my sister, I know what I want for her. So it's like working with kids, you know, around her age, seeing her grow up, it's like, okay, I know what I want for her, I want to give to other children too. When I had my third grade teacher, Ms. Neskos, she was like the best, and then I knew I wanted to be a teacher. I want to have that same impact that I had in third grade on other children. At Wheelock College is generally organized around education. They have social work, elementary education, a lot of things to do with children. You get to pick what field placement you want to do. So I chose Project Hope. I love my field placement. I love just everything about my school for what I want to do. College represents kind of like a blueprint, you know, to my mother, you know, that I'm going to be somebody. Because my mother didn't get to go to college. She knows that college opens doors for you, for your future and your life. You know, life isn't easy for anybody. She's had her struggles, but, you know, she wants the best for me. College is not cheap, so I started, you know, trying to look into financial aid. Access is a financial aid program. Um, you have a financial aid counselor who comes to your school to talk to seniors. She helped me out, you know, with receiving scholarships and, like, how to, you know, put myself out there to get what I need. She helped a lot. Like, you know, because I didn't, I had no idea how to file those papers or anything. So that's a, that's a big help. I got the mass grant 
and I got a, a grant from Wheelock, and I got the Access Unmet Needs Scholarship. If the Access program didn't exist, a lot of kids would not be in school. I'm really grateful for like have, getting the amount of money I needed to do what I want to do. That's why I, I go to my classes, I go to school all the time, you know, I do my work because I needed to make my mother proud, to do something good for myself. So you just got to put yourself out there and like use your resources and just do whatever you can to get what you want. I love Wheelock College. I'm really happy I went there actually. My name is Misael Diaz, and I'm a senior at Worcester Polytechnic Institute. I was born in La Romana, Dominican Republic. In 1998, my parents divorced, and that was the very last time I saw my father. My mom uh, moved to the States, to the city of Worcester. My younger brother and I stayed in La Romana. I was 15 years old, and um, I attended night classes from 6 to 10 p.m and I worked during the day to support my brother to go to school as well to support our apartment. And then in 2004, uh, we moved to Worcester with my mom. I always wanted to, to go to college and you know, I, I always said to my friends, I will go to college, I will, I will become an engineer. And my friends would look at me like, keep on dreaming. And at that point, yeah, I was dreaming. But I started looking for schools that I could go to. My friend took me for a tour at Worcester Polytechnic Institute. And I knew right then and there that that's the place where I wanted to be. That's, I became in love with WPI. I quickly realized that I didn't have any money to go to school. I didn't have the help of a father or anybody that could you know, provide me with the resources. I needed help. I interviewed with admissions assistant director. I told him, listen, what I'm here for is to learn, and I guarantee you that I'm gonna be able to do it. And I got accepted. And admissions people, they didn't know who I was, and they are willing to um, work for me to give me a better life. I received mass grant, I received Pell grant, um, I received federal aid, I had work study. I'm a semester away from getting a bachelor's degree and you take any of my grants away from me and you depriving me from getting a bachelor's degree. It's, it's just that simple. When I was growing, I wanted to be a baseball player and unfortunately I could not you know, continue after I got injured. But me getting a bachelor's degree, it is exactly at the same level as for me signing with the Red Sox because to my family, it is exactly at the same level. Once I get my degree, I'm gonna have the same exact feeling. That's how much it means to form a whole family. I'm just grateful that I'm able to go to WPI and you know get a degree. And I just thank all the people that helped me to do that. My dreams is to become an entrepreneur and find my own foundation. What a lot of people think is that giving back, you have to be Bill Gates or you have to be Oprah or somebody like that. However, giving back is just providing other people with even with a little bit of hope. I hope to give others the opportunity that the states and its representatives have given me today. I truly remember my name because I, I, will, I will do big things and all of that is thanks to me getting an education.